What's up, YouTube? What's up? Curry family Instagram. You should be the one that did it Alright y'all, we back here right now. Stop pulling on my purse. Then I'm acting up as usual. Girl, stop playing with me, please. We be embarrassing here. Say what's up, Jotty. Jotty. What's wrong with you? You shawty? <laughs> there she doing too much, trying to turn the camera off and stuff. Stop. Me me. Me to me. Me to me, the only normal one here. Stop. You doing too much. Amina. 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 Could you watch it? Nice to meet you. You guys are following up today with her. I think you saw Dr. Chen Jean right this, correct? Okay. And then get a CT and for the neck mass and uh, coming in to see that. And it's still, has it gotten bigger, smaller, same? Just take a look at it. No, it got bigger since they drew the stuff out of it. Okay. Um, all right. Since um, when did they? Uh, what day was it? Um, what is that? I don't remember. Was it after you saw Dr. Chen? <laughs> mm, uh, I think so. Sit, yeah, because he didn't want to refer to it. Stop, Jay. Sit down. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I can answer that. Okay, so that was in 117. You went to an interventional radiology, is that correct? Probably, I'm not sure. Okay. And so they drained it, mm -hmm. and then it just came back. Okay, did it hurt or no? Did you have trouble swallowing? No. Did you say you had a problem with it at one point? Sit on the chair like that. Sit down right. I'm gonna say you back your way. Sit down, stop not listening. It's not funny. Sit down, Lonnie J. On the seat. Sit on the seat. Do you think everything be a game or something? It's never red or anything like that or fevers, nothing. Mm -hmm. no. When did it first come back? Like last week? Yeah. When it first came? We don't know when it first came, but. Last summer? Last And it just kept getting bigger. You thought it would resolve. Because I didn't notice it until what? November? October, November? Okay. And then did they ever put you on antibiotics or anything? And then that didn't help, right? Okay. All right. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Lonnie J. It's our problem. She's finishing up and then you guys are next, okay? Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Do you want to color something? Yeah, I know it's hard to be so. Okay, let me get something to color, okay? Lonnie J, why you act up so bad? Don't need to no, I don't care what they do. What they, no, they gotta do it. Yeah.
like he just gonna whoop you because you're too bad. No, yeah. And I was like, oh, you whoop her today? Oh, okay. How she do? <laughs> Anytime she acts up, just whoop her. Put her in front of the whole class and whoop her. Let everybody laugh at her. Now. All right, I got you. Sit down. What did you do? Tuck her in the bed. You're sitting there looking goofy, aren't yeah. you? You want punishment? Can't even look when you're young. You're an unruly kid. Stop looking at me like that. It's not cute. Look, Jody. Thumbnail. Why she don't listen? Like, what's wrong with her? I got her watch. Watch me in the car. She don't listen to nothing. She don't mind Y'all see this firsthand, y'all. She the only one to act like that. I don't know where she get it from because I wanted Piper in bed when I was little. You want some ice cream, Jody and Mina? You mean? What, ice eat? cream, Mina? Want eat eat? Mimi, want eat eat? I'm trying to rest on her here, y'all. It's been a process taking her here now. Okay, I've been sick. Yeah, okay. Don't look crazy. I remember they were talking about it in the thing before. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I mean, they don't never have her hair done. She I'm always got her hair done. I'm just in a process taking it down. It don't ever take me as long as I get her done. Get off the floor. Get out and do it in one day. But I gotta detangle it. Now right on the seat. Girl, stop playing with me. Throw it away. Go throw it away. And the people think like we on chest yeah, side of our kids away. or we on. She just naturally bad. So now you can do to, to stop it. Well, it's, not, it's, it's something you can do to stop it, but beating a kid don't ain't gonna stop them. Make it worse. What you doing, Mimi? What are you watching? All she had to bring hers in here. She could have said it like she had some things. Yeah, she left hers right on the thing. Oh, they ain't in the car. That's what I said. It's a whole scene of you just acting up, rolling your eyes and all that type of stuff. How you bad but scared? Where has she elbows? Boy, you just keep spitting in there on the Which one is the filming? Now I want to see. Quit looking at me. Nanjay. update you on what everything meant um i know dr you know chen the ent doctor had seen you before just wanted to confirm the plan so i told her i would call you to give you an update so i'm sorry that we missed each other but i'm glad you're here today because our goal is to chat about everything okay now they mentioned that it seems like it's gotten bigger in size is that correct yes yeah, since they did the training it's gotten bigger well, come have a seat with me right here. I'm going to take some new pictures for his chart. Now, the pictures that we take go straight to his chart, and then we're going to chat about everything, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pull this chart first. Now, any pain in that area right now? Yeah. And do you feel like it fluctuates in size and at times is bigger than others, smaller than others? Do y'all notice any no. changes in size? Here's his chart. So remember, the pictures that we take go straight into his chart, okay? Uh -huh. I'm just going to take some pictures. Can you look up for me? Good. Good job. 
Great. And then can you open your mouth for me as big as you can? Really, really big. Go ahead and stick your tongue up to the top of your mouth. Oh, that looks okay. It did get smaller when they drained it, but it got bigger again. So I don't know if it's as big as it was before, but it did grow back since the drain. Okay. Jay, come over here now. Well, let's take a look. I'm just gonna look at your nose, mouth, neck. We're gonna talk about kind of what all the studies have done, that they've done and what they've shown. Okay. And that way we'll talk about kind of all the things going on and what we would recommend as the next steps, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna raise you up in the air. Now, does it change in size when he eats or drinks? Um, I don't no. think so. Let's see, I'm gonna look at your ears first, okay? Get really close. It's putting the visor down. All right, I'll do the other side. Good job, I'm gonna get really close over here. Hey, right, ears look good. Next, I'll look inside of your nose. Fantastic. Open your mouth as big as you can. Super duper big and stick your tongue out and say, ah, ah, ah. Good job. And then lastly, I'm just going to feel your neck on both sides, okay? Tilt your chin down. It's nice and soft. And um, has he ever had antibiotics for it or anything? Did that seem to affect the size at all? No. And in total, how much time do you think that cyst has been there since y'all first noticed it? Um, he said he noticed it on a video way back in June of last year. Mm -hmm. And then open your mouth for me. <clears throat> and stick your tongue up to the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a different glove on and I'm going to feel on the inside of your mouth while at the same time feeling on the outside of your neck, okay? So just keep your mouth nice and open for me. It's mostly on his right side, not as much on the left. Mm -hmm. Let me go more towards the middle. Very good. You did great. I'm all done. So when you look at the CT scan in the good MRI, now, um, have have you seen the pictures? Did um, they show you the pictures? And you met with Dr. Chow in the clinic. Mm -hmm. No, let me say pull up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. <coughs> This is his right side where the R is, and this is his left side. And we're starting at the front of his face, the tip of his nose. This is his nose, this is his mouth, and his teeth. And you'll start to see his eyes. Here, those are his eyes. And what you'll also notice is something really bright white down here under his chin. And that's where the cyst is. And you can see it, it's bilobed, meaning it's got two parts to it with a little bit of a separation in between. Mm -hmm. And it goes toward the underneath part of his mouth, but not completely all the way into his mouth. And it goes toward the back. Now, usually when we see someone who has a cyst like this, mm -hmm. um, one of the most common things that it can be is what's called a lymphatic malformation, which is why the interventional radiology doctor, the initial thing that they did was drain it to see what kind of fluid was in it. The kind of fluid that they got from it, though, was not what we would typically see for a lymphatic malformation. 
And when they sent the fluid off for studies, it came back as no, didn't look like a lymphatic malformation. It looked, they said it had a lot of mucin in it, like mucus basically. Usually, usually in someone who has a cyst in their neck with mucus in it, in this location, the most common diagnosis is what's called a ranula. A ranula is a medical term for basically a cyst created by the flow of saliva from nearby salivary glands that creates a cyst. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, the most likely source of this is what's called the sublingual gland, which is a gland here underneath the inside of the jawbone where I was feeling on the inside of his mouth. Yeah. Just underneath there, right in That's here, right. is where our sublingual gland is, this little area here. And these little glands, we have one on each side, they tend to be the source of what creates that flow of saliva into the wrong place. And so it creates what we call a pseudocyst, which is a fake cyst, basically. It's a cyst, but it doesn't have a true wall around it. Long, long time ago, we used to remove them out here through the neck and remove them that way. Based on research, though, if you do only that and not remove the gland from the inside of the mouth, the risk of it coming back is higher. So nowadays, based on research done here and other places, the recommended treatment typically is actually to go through the mouth, remove the gland here underneath the tongue, that seems to be the source, and drain the fluid from the inside of the mouth, but not make a cut out here on the outside. Based on that, the risk of it coming back should be low, but there is a risk it could still come back after that. Well, then what do you do? Sometimes you have to go in and remove more of the salivary gland tissue if there's any left behind, because sometimes it's hard to get the whole gland out because it can be really big and it goes down far and pretty far back. So we, we do we remove what we safely can without causing any problems to any nearby important nerve infrastructures. The vast majority of people who have it done that way have a great result and it doesn't come back. But really the biggest risk is that it could come back. I think in his situation, it's a possibility, but unlikely for it to be something else, like a different type of cyst. Based on the location, his age, what the fluid studies showed from when they sucked out the fluid with the IR doctor, based on everything, ranula is the most likely diagnosis, in which case that's why we as a team recommend removing that gland from the inside of the mouth and draining it from the inside that way. If for some reason at that time, something didn't add up and it looked like a different type of cyst, um, we still typically wouldn't want to remove it out here unless we felt like at that time it was necessary for treatment. So I, in this situation, we would go through the mouth to remove the gland, see how the fluid looks, drain the fluid through the mouth, mm -hmm. but probably not go out here unless something looks like it's adding up to a, to get a different mm -hmm. type of system what we expect. And in that case, we wouldn't typically remove the gland, we would just uh, remove the cyst from the outside. So basically, we would go through the mouth first. Mm -hmm. If it looks like a different type of cyst and we don't think removing the gland is the correct way, then we would come out here and remove it from this way and leave the gland in the mouth alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I would expect him to spend one night in the hospital afterwards. Um, he'd be out of school probably for three to five days, depending on how he's feeling afterwards. 